Hi guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Thursday the 19th of May 2022. Thanks for joining me. I want to use two decks today. I want to use the Robin Wood Tarot and the Star Spinner Tarot. Um, I think I'll take two cards from each deck if I can fit them into the screen. So let's see what the cards we need to be aware of here on Thursday and what energy you'll be working with. So first we've got the Ten of Cups. Okay, that's always positive. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, and let's see what the Star Spinner Tarot wants to say. Right, so two more cards. Let's see. I hope I can fit these in. I've got the Five of Wands. And the two of wands. Okay. So again, it's a really positive day. And I say that just by looking at the colors. I mean, I know this is a really positive card. The Wheel of Fortune is too. The five of wands fundamentally is about trivial conflict. So it's not a big deal or a big negative. It's something that you can overlook or ought to overlook. And then the two of wands is super positive in the sense that it says there's a door of opportunity opening in your life. Something new becomes accessible. And if you ballet your way through it, you'll end up in the castle on the hill. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Yeah, so color-wise, we've got the rainbow and we've got all this yellow and pink. So yellow is the solar plexus chakra. That's your ability to live your life and to feel like you have control over what goes and you can go in a direction that actually interests you. Um, obviously with this being the suit of ones that's the element of fire that's red and orange and yellow and that's similar that's about living your life purpose and doing something that's actually interesting for you whether other people approve of it or not here we've got all the colors of the rainbow um all the colors of the rainbow that's interesting the, the rainbow doesn't really come up in the tarot very much um a rainbow to me signifies um this unexpected reminder that magical things can happen in a world that at other times seems really mundane and difficult. <laughs> it's, <laughs> yeah. So whenever a rainbow appears, it's like, oh, wow, you know, there is hope for good stuff. So for me personally, I mean, I, like if you're looking at the Bible and stuff, isn't there in Noah's Ark or um, the flood? Who was the flood? Was it Noah? Um, after the flood, a rainbow appeared. And I think, and you guys all know this more than me, but wasn't it some sort of a pact or something or hope for the future between the Old Testament God and I don't know, I can't remember. Please let me know in the comments what that was all about. So the rainbow obviously has a lot of different meanings, whether it's a, it's a pact and a new understanding or a symbol of hope or something unexpected. I feel that the key thing here is that things are a lot better than you realize and than you would expect. There's like this positive breeze blowing through your life right now and it's bringing a lot of chances for changing things around, to achieve your own hopes and dreams, to have something that you really love and care about, to minimize tri trivial conflict and to feel like you're in charge of your own destiny. So to me, that sounds ultra promising. Okay, the Ten of Cups, that's the highest card in the suit of cups. And cups is water, it has to do with love. So we see that here, the family love, uh, romantic love, loved with something unseen and hidden and spiritual, something that makes you feel okay within yourself. So I guess self-love, spiritual love. But also in a lot of the cups card, the, they represent kind of hopes and dreams. Like what I'm being being prompted with is the Seven of Cups particularly, where someone is kind of looking into the clouds, looking at their own options and seeing what is possible. And here it's a culmination of all of that. It's coming full circle with all your hopes and dreams, getting to a place where you're like, I've made it. Hooray. I can't believe... You know when, you, you, when you're with someone or in a situation and it's so good, you're just like... 
is this a dream? Is this really happening? Like, I've been in that situation a couple of times where something in my brain has just flipped and it's almost like I've disassociated or I've stepped out of my body and looked at the situation and said, this is like amazing. I can't believe, well, I don't like to say I can't believe it, but it's like, it's, this is beyond. So there are things that, that are surprising and really unexpected isn't even what the word to describe it but completely like life-changing that happened to us in uh, i think you know what i'm trying to say so today expect something really good that you couldn't even have imagined to appear in your life and particularly it's going to have to do with one of your hopes and dreams that's been around for a long 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 time the wheel of fortune so by accepting this good news and what comes into your life and embracing it and seeing what it offers you, you can really change your destiny again. So that immediately means that of course you are in control of it because you can either reject something good that's coming in or you can embrace it. And again, that may seem obvious. It's like, why would I reject something that's amazing? But usually, well, not usually, sometimes good things can come in and they have certain hooks attached. Strings attached, maybe? It, it's got certain, it, it's somewhat problematic. So let's say, okay, I've met, um, or I found the dream job, but I have to move to the other side of the world to get it. So am I gonna embrace that opportunity or am I not gonna bother and inconvenience myself? Or um, I've met this amazing new person and there's, it's such a great connection and it's just a scream and uh, a laugh a minute. Um, but the family really doesn't like me. Should I try this or shouldn't I? And the cards are saying here that it's important not to ju judge a book by its cover because this is too much, right? This picture of the man and the wife and the laughing children surrounded by the rainbow, it's like this is the idealized notion of something. And the message I'm getting around that is if something good appears in your life, but it doesn't seem like too good to be true and cookie cutter, what, what is it, cookie cutter perfect, then don't dismiss it just because it isn't super straightforward. It's a genuine present from the universe that's um, worth looking into. We've got the five of ones then. So the five of ones is usually five boys kind of hitting sticks together. And it's about testing your own abilities and your strengths via trivial conflict, com competition, um, challenges, anything that kind of makes you step outside of your comfort zone. Here we've got this little fairy doubled up in some sort of, it, it seems more serious because she's having this major emotional response. And it may be, we've got the stars at the end of the ones. It may be, a feeling of difficulty because it's hard to decide and i oh that's interesting that's really the only thing i can see as problematic like something good has appeared should i go with it do i trust that this can work out or is it going to be like everything else that promised to deliver something in my life and then turn to smithereens the answer here via the cards is to have faith that good things can happen because this is the doorway that's opened up to you. You haven't even really had to do much, except wake up in the morning and say, okay, what's being delivered today that's good and charming and beyond? So usually the two of ones is a young guy standing in between two ones with the, the world in the palm of his hands, and he's got this red cloak on. And it's very much about choosing what kind of world you wanna live in or how you wanna structure your own life. And here again, we've got this little fairy kind of ballerina uh, dancing around. And it's, she's, it's almost like she's chosen two things and she's twirling around and creating magic of her own where she is. So it's, it's a gate card, but it's also just enjoying the process of having options and choices. So again, I don't feel like you have to get super tough and say, I choose. I just think it's, um, if you're willing to accept and believe that something good can and is coming into your life and you enjoy the process, not only is it gonna 
uh, are the hang-ups then later on kind of seen as trivial but also it's like yeah the the whole thing about choosing it, it's not really what you're choosing it's just being willing to accept rather than making a decision okay um number wise we got 10 and 10 is 20 and 5 is 25 and then 2 is 27 2 and 7 is 9 and 9 in numerology is spirituality and completion we've got a wheel here a uh, full circle we've got this full circle and then via the the um what is it called star spinner tarot that's got circles everywhere anyway but i think again it's kind of telling that we've got the number nine something is coming to an end one of your hopes and dreams is being fulfilled and then we've got that echoed in each one of the cards so a, a long-term desire is fulfilled have an amazing day let me know in the comments, please, some of the good stuff that you're experiencing on this day or things that seem beyond your wildest dreams. If you'd like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. On the front page, just scroll down a little bit and you'll get to a button that says book your reading. Click on that to order your reading with me. And in my personal readings, I use the tarot, numerology and astrology to draw up your birth chart, which kind of looks like this, actually, except it's got 12 houses. Um, I need your place of birth, date of birth and time of birth. And that then shows me who you are in great detail. So your life purpose, your default setting, what you're striving towards, what kind of grounds and roots you, uh, what's coming up in future, and specific things like love life and finances and where to live and moving dates and um, good dates to pick for special occasions, anything like that. If you, if you have any questions, then please do get in touch with me for a personal reading. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please hit subscribe and share the video online. Have an amazing day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.